Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play More Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. We'll leave that again. Oh, I did save everybody but one person, which is unfortunate, but uh, you know what? I'm actually just gonna rescue you. to go. Alright, so who should finish this guy off? Asher? Nope. Uh, let's, uh, deal a try here. Nice. Good. Cursed crows, you ruined all of my plans. Nice. Good. That's not bad level up. That was our last uh, turn, so. Finally. There they are. I hope we'll find Empress Saniki safe and sound. Ladies, charge! Show them what we've got! I saw this coming, of course, you know. If they just paid me more, I'd have been willing to lend a hand. Oh well. well what do a few human lives matter to us? And they're none of our concern. We're done here. Let's go. Yes, sir. That's it! It looks like the dust is finally starting to settle. Looks like those crows took flight as soon as the Holy Guard arrived. The other assailants fled too. Then our job here is done. Crows are one thing, but what were those men doing with them? Yes, I thought that was odd too. They looked like pirates, but they certainly didn't act like them. True. They weren't interested in treasure, and their soldiers definitely were trained fighters. Who are they? Which country did they serve? Was this an attempt on the Apostle's life? It's possible. The Apostle is the symbol of the Benyan Empire itself. The Apostle is the Empress. And if she were to perish, it's fair to say Benyan itself would perish as well. I see. The Apostle is missing? What do you mean? That voice. Something must have happened. Let's go find out. Hug, this business is becoming quite the headache. I'm sorry, ma'am. If I can offer up my life as repentance for... Oh, stop it. If you were to repent, go do something useful and find the apostle. Yes, ma'am. Did I hear correctly? Is the apostle missing again? Oh, hear that mercenary. My men guarded the cabin entrance. As far as I know, we kept it safe from the enemy. From what I've been told, the Apostle slipped out of the cavern on her own in the chaos. On her own. Now why would anyone call the Apostle do something as stupid as that? Hey Ike, watch your words, you're being rude. It's alright, Dame Knight. I have more important matters on my mind. I hate to ask, but... Would I be able to enlist your help in searching for the Apostle? Of course, you don't mind helping, do you Ike? Nah. We'll search the enemy ship. Would you search your ship, just to be sure? I would appreciate it. I'll do what I can to find her, but I don't even know who I'm looking for. I think it's safe to assume she will be a woman of stature, a noble woman of some sort. Huh? Well, I suppose all we have to do is keep an eye, my eyes peeled for any stowaway, anyone I don't know. Let's split up. It will go faster if we search separately. Miss and I will check this side. Then Zorn and I will search the rest of the ship. Zorn, uh, about what I said this morning. Yes? About the way you phrase things. I, I have to apologize for that. No, don't apologize. I know you. I know it's been bothering you, hasn't it? 
No. Well, don't take it personally. I'm no better, you know. Your ability to speak plainly uh, the things others won't is part of what makes you brilliant. Others are too bound by courtesy. With you, I trust that w I trust that what you say is exactly what you think. Well, yes. Thank you, Ike. Now, about that missing apostle. Oh. You found her? No, I don't think so. But there's a child stowing away in here. What? What is a child doing hiding on our ship? She must be some aristocrat's daughter. Probably slipped on from the Vinian ship. It was a hectic battle. She must have been frightened and hid herself here in the confusion. Are you going to help her? Well, we can't just leave her. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine. Hey, don't be scared. Uh, who might you be? You don't look like a Lagoose. Perhaps a new recruit? No, I'm a mercenary. I was hired by Princess Silencia. A Crimean princess. Ouch! What's wrong? Oh, you hurt your foot? Let me see. Hold! Do not approach me! Hey, I told you not to... Ouch! You're hurting me, you fool! Looks like the bone's not broken, so we better have Miss take a look at it just in case. What What are you doing? Just hush up and hold on to me. There's my sister. She can heal that foot of yours right up. Are you trying to help me? Shouldn't you be elsewhere? I'm supposed to be looking for some sort of apostle person. Uh, but I think there are enough other people looking, and I'd rather help the injured first. <laughs> I see. This is indeed. Hmm? What is it? Oh, nothing. If that's the case, I accept your help. Ike, any luck finding the apostle? Nope, all I found was a lost, little lost child. Hey, she's quite a cutie. Mist, do you think you could use your staff to heal this kid? Yeah, is she hurt? Just her foot, but maybe she bumped her head too. She's been mumbling complete gibberish since I picked her up kept silent, blaming these antics on your ignorance. But I can no longer tolerate your manners. Huh? What's wrong? It's your foot, isn't it? Prepare yourselves, peasants. Prepare? For what? You stand in the presence of Sanaki, Empress of Benyon. I am the Apostle, the voice of the Goddess. Empress? What did she say? What? Then she is... Oh no, is she really... No, she can't be. No way. Hold your judgment. Even if she's lying, there must be a reason. You ignorant. Are you alright, Empress? My apologies. We were unable to reach you, and we left you in terrible peril. I accept full responsibility. You're late, Sigrun. What would you have done had something happened to me? Please, Empress, I beg your forgiveness. That won't be necessary. I am also partly to blame for what happened. Let's focus instead on our rescuers. As a reward for rescuing me, I would like to invite them to visit our court. Be sure that the one they serve, that girl who claims to be the Princess of Crimea, is invited as well. Princess Lincia's bodyguards, I presume. I am sorry for the trouble you've gone to. And you are? I beg your pardon. My name is Sigrid. I am a commander of Banyan's Holy Guard. No word of thanks will ever repay you for saving the Empress. Wait, so it's true? Are you saying that little child is Banyan's Empress? It appears so. I can't say I quite believe it, but she seems sincere. Besides, how many people do you know who command a legion of Pegasus Knights? The Empress has invited us to join her at Cyan, the capital of Benyon. I think we should go. Where is the princess? Well, we should ask her permission before agreeing. She must be in the cabin. I'll take you to her. Okay. Guiding wind. I 
Minimar, largest nation on the continent, is a theocracy dedicated to the goddess Asherah. Hanging from the summit of the empire, guiding the world from the voice of the goddess, the apostle Sanic rules by name. As Asherah's chosen vessel, the apostle is showered with love and respect from the entire nation. Seven Imperial Senators aid the Apostle in the governance of her realm. This system of government has been the backbone of Banyan for many long centuries. After Ike and his company aid the Apostle, her, her holy guard takes them to the Imperial capital, Sian. Sien? Mm. The upper class of Banyan society live lives of pampered comfort and luxury. Known as the Sainted, these elite power brokers reside in massive temple-like homes whose spires dominate the skyline. The guiding tower overlooks all from the heart of the city. Here, Ashira holds her vigil, washing over the world. Surrounding the tower is a series of temples, both large and small, placed in an orderly, systematic fashion. They're systemic. One temple, however, is conspicuously larger than the others. It is the Grand Temple Manali, Minol, home of the Apostle. Ike and his company, used, used to the freedoms of Crimea, find the differences in culture and custom to be very confusing. I imagine anybody would. Now then, you have proclaimed yourself to be the orphan of Crimea's King Ramon, Princess Lucia Riddell Crimea, correct? Yes. I've heard stories that King Crimea had a daughter in secret. My men have reported as much to me in the past. However, whether you are that princess or not is another tale. Do you have nothing that would lend credence to your claim? Credence? Nothing at all. It took all my energy simply to avoid capture by Dayan. I had no time to secure any proof of my claim. Hmm. And with Crown Prince Brenning also dead, there is no one who even knows your face. What am I to do? I will vouch for her. My Lord Ike. I have no doubt that Princess Lincia is the true heir to the Thorn of Crimea. Oh, really? And tell me, what gives you this strength of conviction? We believe her story. This woman has not engaged with the outside world since the day she was born. So how is it that you, a lowly mercenary, dare to assert her authenticity? The Dayan army pursues her with bloody-minded determination. At every turn, they demand that we turn Princess Lindsay over again. What further proof do you need? Someone of proper standing made that pronouncement. I would accept it as irrefutable proof. But you, you're a commoner. You have no surname, no documented lineage. You have nothing. I know commoners. They are poor. For a price, they will support any lie, no matter how outlandish. Oh, now I suppose you'll tell me you're the son of some noble house? No, of course not. But wait, perhaps you're a royal knight of Crimea? I am neither a noble nor a knight. I have no connection with the palace whatsoever. And no matter how much gold I stood to gain, I would not betray my convictions. Lindsay has paid us, yes, but nothing more than the standard fee to purchase our services as her escort. Nothing more. We have come this far only because we believe Lindsay to be a woman of integrity. We would not sell our swords to a liar. I don't care how high and mighty you might be, I will not stand here and let you mock the bond of trust that ties us to Lincia. My Lord Ike! How dare you! Who are you to address the apostle so crudely? 
Guards, guards! Seize this man for his abuse of the apostle. The penalty can be only death. Halt! <laughs> Sephiram was right about you. You're very interesting. Uh, apostle! Sephiram? That monk we rescued from the prisons? A monk was it? His disguises are always so clever. It never ceases to amaze me. As always, he remains an enigma. Heed my words. Sephirin is a, in truth, Duke Belsi? Belsis? Prime Minister of Benyon. And my most trusted buyer, advisor. He has been traveling the neighboring lands for months, trying to ascertain the connection of the people there. Or condition. Blech. We have received detailed reports on Princess Alencia and the mercenary company serving as her escort. So, you knew we were coming? You knew who we were all along? Yes, I apologize for testing you. You see, life here in the palace, or palace is so dreadfully dull. I am always so very bored. Thanks to the princess and her brazen little escort, this interrogation proved to be an amusing diversion. <laughs> so that's what it, what this was. How very like you, Apostle. A cunning game of wits and words. Simply smashing. Even your most loyal servant, Duke Oliver of Tenas, was on the verge of being completely fooled. I am humbled. <laughs> Come, Duke Lacane. It was all a ruse, was it? Oh, Apostle, you do tease us so mercilessly. Still, it was not such a bad way to amuse ourselves, was it, Duke Hetzel? Hmm, too true, my good Duke. Princess Crimea, it appears that you have uh, put quite a smile on the face of our beloved Apostle. What an honor that must be! Woohoo! Um, yes, I suppose. Madness. Oh yes, I almost forgot. In all the fun, Sephirin has already vouched for your identity as the true princess of Crimea. Sephirin. Yeah. I require no further proof. You may rest easy. I am most grateful. Wait a minute. Yes? What is the meaning of this? You knew Linsu was Princess Crimea? And you continue to humiliate her for your own entertainment? Some stupid game of wit and words? This is no joke. Alencia's homeland is lost to her. Her family has been hunted down and killed by the monsters of Dayan. And with nowhere else to turn, she endures mortal danger and terrible heartbreak to reach your door. And then you. You laugh at her? Where is the humor in that? Where is your decency? You're horrible. You're all horrid people. You disgust me beyond words, and you owe Alincia a proper apology. My lord Ike, please. Wretched peasant, you loose that treasonous tongue once more, and Duke Lacane, restrain yourself. But I am speaking, be still. Now then, Ike, I fully understand your feelings. Your passion for your employer is a truly beautiful thing. Would that my own fawning vassals shared your commitment. However, truth be told, your behavior does test my patience. Raise your voice once more to me, and you will seriously damage the princess's already precarious position. Do you understand? Not really. Why don't you fill me in? Even if Alencia is truly Crimean royalty, she is at best heir to a dead country, nothing more. Without Benyon's support, Lindsay's claim holds no meaning. Am I mistaken? Bah. Even if we harm her fragile feelings for the sake of her country's future, she must stand by and say nothing. In fact, she is in no position to do anything but beg for Benyon's favor. Or hadn't you noticed? I have much to consider. For now, I shall take my leave of you. I will meet with my senators soon and discuss the state of affairs. Crimea's future will not be uncertain for long. Until that time, I suggest you rest and relax. Perhaps you could try your hand at your courtly games of wit and words. At our courtly games. Hmm. What incredible nerve to take advantage of our situation and speak down to us like that. 
I don't care if she's the Empress or the Apostle or whatever. I can't stand her. Listen, Ike, isn't it possible that the Apostle saved you? What? Titania is correct. Benyon is a nation ruled by time-honored custom and ancient conventions. You insulted the Apostle, the very symbol of their way of life. The fact that you are still breathing is a miracle. I hadn't realized. And as her escort, your criminal behavior would fall directly on your employer, Princess Lincia. If you had truly angered the Apostle, any hope of restoring Crimea would have vanished like a puff of smoke. That's madness. They would sacrifice a whole country to satisfy their own egos? Ike, this may not be much of an answer, but letting madness rule the day is the prerogative of nobility. The Bjork divide themselves into classes, and with classes come prejudice. From the moment of our birth to our final dying gasp, we commoners know we are not allowed to defy the upper classes. Princess Lincia, I'm sorry. My ignorance does not excuse my stupidity. I truly am sorry. No, I... What you said, you said in my defense and in my honor. It made me very pleased. Huh? To see you so angry on my behalf, your words filled my heart. It wasn't as noble as you make it sound. However, there is one point that I would contest. It is true that I have lost my family and my home. But I did have people to turn to, people to rely on. My Lord Ike, you and your company were at my side. For me, this has been a great source of inspiration and of happiness. Princess Lincia. My Lord Ike, please call me Lincia. Huh? That would be improper, wouldn't it? I mean, you're our employer, and you called me so earlier. I did? Really? You didn't notice? No, I... Uh, my apologies. I'll be more careful. Well, I suppose we should go. They prepared rooms for us. Uh, my lord Ike. Are we done here? Looks like it is. Good. Uh, MVP Titania, new ally Astrid. There were no casualties and no one suffered permanent injury. We fought excellently. That is all I have to report, so if you excuse me. Alright, so yes, we are going to stop it here. That will be it for this episode, guys. Godspeed, stay frosty. See you later. Bye.